Hello everyone, Princess Alethea here, still in sunny Florida, and uh, you can't tell, but I'm wearing my catbug shirt. I love catbug. You should love catbug too. Today we are going to talk about the Grimm's fairy tale, Sweetheart Roland. This is one that I podcasted a long time ago, and I'm trying to catch up the podcast and the fairy tale rants so that going forward, we can just post a podcast and a rant on the same week. Sweetheart Roland is a fairy tale with a lot of really great elements in it. In fact, so many great elements that I'm not quite sure why this wasn't one of my favorite fairy tales, but I suspect it's because Roland isn't a truly realized hero. I'll explain why as I tell you about the story. So, there's a witch. She's an evil witch. She has a daughter. She has a stepdaughter. The daughter is evil. The stepdaughter is good. The evil daughter wants the good daughter's apron. And the witch says, oh good, I've been wanting an excuse to kill your sister. So if you could just fall asleep and push her towards the front of the bed, I'll chop her head off at night. But this was a small house and the good sister heard the evil plan. So when the bad sister fell asleep, she pushed the bad sister towards the door and slept towards the wall. So when the witch came in at night, she chopped the head off her own daughter. Immediately, the good sister runs to her sweetheart, Roland, and says, Roland, we have to leave because as soon as the sun comes up, she's going to see what she's done. She's going to know I did it and she's going to kill us. Well, she's going to kill me. Roland says, we cannot run away until we get her magic wand because otherwise we're never going to be able to escape. The good sister says, okay, great, let's go. So she sneaks back into the house. She takes the head of her dead sister and puts a drop by the bed, a drop by the door, and a drop in the kitchen. And she steals the magic wand and runs away. When the witch gets home from whatever witchly things she's been out doing that day, she wants to know where her daughter is. So she says, where are you? And the one drop of blood in the kitchen says, I'm in the kitchen sweeping. And the one drop of blood, where was it? By the door says, I'm by the door ready to go out or something. And the one by the bed says, I'm in the bed sleeping. She goes up to the bed and sees the bloody mess and freaks out and goes after the good sister and Roland. Meanwhile, they're running around. The good sister and Roland see the witch coming after them and wave the magic wand and she turns into a lake and he turns into a duck on the lake. This is a very similar theme in many fairy tales. The witch tries to lure the duck off the lake and it doesn't work. The witch goes home. When she tries again the next day, there's this giant hedge with one flower on it and a fiddler Roland is the fiddler, and the witch says, Dear fiddler, can I pluck this flower off this hedge? And the fiddler's like, sure, go ahead, because the witch knows who the flower is. The witch goes to pluck the flower off the hedge, and Roland starts fiddling like crazy, and the witch, because it's magic, can't help but dance. So she's dancing, and the thorns are pricking her all over, and she dances until she's dead. Yay! I forgot to mention, when the witch goes after Roland and the good sister, she uses her seven league boots. The first time I remember hearing about Seven League Boots was in Howl's Moving Castle. So this is another reason why I'm very surprised that Sweetheart Roland wasn't one of my particular favorites. Because Howl's Moving Castle certainly was. So the good sister and Sweetheart Roland are now free. And Roland says, I'm going to go to the village to my father and ask for your hand in marriage. And the girl says, I'm just going to turn myself into a red stone and wait right here for you. This is kind of where the fairy tale falls apart for me because Roland goes back to the village to see his dad, ends up hooking up with another chick, and he's going to marry her. The girl, in her sadness, changes herself back into a flower and sits there waiting to be trampled. What? By and by, a shepherd comes along and he sees the flower and he plucks it. And he, because he thinks it's so beautiful, he puts it in his buttonhole. And when he gets home, he places it in a chest to keep it safe. This shepherd is a bachelor. He's kind of a nice guy. I mean, how many shepherds do you know who walk around and pluck flowers? Every morning when the shepherd wakes up, his house is magically clean. And every night when he comes home from work, there's food ready for him, the table is set. It's all very beautiful. He goes to a wise woman and says, what's the deal? And the woman says, wake up super early in the morning, peek out, and as soon as you see something, throw a white sheet over it because a white sheet will dispel all magic. See, this is a cool fairy tale. He wakes up in the morning, sees the flower hop out of the chest, throws the white sheet over it, and voila, 
the good sister is back to life as a human again. The shepherd offers to marry her, and she says no. This is the second part <laughs> where the fairy tale kind of falls apart for me. She says, I can't marry you because I'm still in love with sweetheart Roland. My heart belongs to him and I just don't love anyone else. Roland is about to be married to this other chick. And one of the traditions in this village is that all of the unwed women come to sing him off. Yeah, we're not even gonna go there. All the girls grab the good sister and take her to the wedding and they begin to sing and Roland recognizes the voice of his true love, dumps the girl at the altar and runs off to be with the good sister and they live happily ever after. Do you see how I'm just quite not gelling with this fairy tale? I guess I want my heroes to be a little more black and white, which I know is weird coming from somebody like me. I also feel like the shepherd really needs a sequel. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching and join me next week when we talk about another one of Grimm's fabulous fairy tales. Love you guys. Mwah. She's gonna see what I've done and she's gonna kill me.